Hi beauties, our topic this week in our vlog is how to love yourself this Valentine's Day. And I love this topic, it is our topic as well in our Saluna circle, being magnetic with self-love, which is something I don't think we talk about enough. I think the more we love ourselves, the more everything in our life improves from our relationships to our happiness levels, or the joy, the peace in our life, our, our work, our relationships with our family. Everything gets better when we love ourselves more. So let's dive in with some tips on how to nourish yourself. Number one is to try out some new recipes. These can, and in my opinion, should be super simple and easy. So you stick to them. Maybe it's not a real um, recipe. It doesn't have to be complex. It could just be a couple new ingredients or a way that you remix something that you already make. I myself cook very simply for myself. But sometimes I remember, oh, um, you know, cumin or, oh, this, this Italian seasoning is so great. This makes my soup taste completely differently. And also elixirs. So I think, you know, food is our first cornerstone here in Saluna as well. And food is such an important form of self-care and loving yourself and feeling nourished in a world where there's a million fast food options and convenient options. If you can put some of your love and energy and healthy, organic, good ingredients into your body, you're going to feel nourished and you're going to just feel more energized. So elixirs I also love, and there's a million recipes, we'll link to them, or you can check them out at mysaluna.com, are soothing and warm, and you're mixing a brew. I mean, this is a very Ayurvedic practice. This is a, a practice in a lot of different um, traditions where you're infusing a warm drink with love and energy, and it goes beyond the actual ingredients. There's intention, um, there's healing qualities to it. So I'm a huge fan of elixirs. I drink one, sometimes two a day. And I think there is a lot of self-love in that cup of elixir. Number two, self-touch, self-massage, abhyanga. Now, this is emphasized so much in Ayurveda, and I've been talking about it a lot the last few years as I've become a student of Ayurveda. And it's just a warm oil massage. It feels really soothing. It's um, just a wonderful way to connect with yourself and to love yourself and to help relax muscles and joints and stiffness in your body to feel more open. And it's just something you can do for a couple minutes every day. We all, of course, all love uh, professional massages. I've been getting quite a few prenatal massages, which I think is right now, which I think is an important investment. But besides that and in between that, just the ability to touch yourself and connect in a loving, intentional way is powerful. There's more and more research coming out about how powerful touch is and how healing touch is. Um, the ability for children to thrive is, is partly dependent on how much they're actually touched and nourished. So imagine when we can give that back to ourself, powerful. Um, the next is to ask yourself what you need. Super simple, but something I do all the time, I say to my body, you know, do you want, if we're at a restaurant, I just tune in, do you want this veggie burger or do you want this bowl? You know, whatever the choices are. And I try to pause instead of going into automatic mode because I think that is a powerful way to really give yourself ultimately what you need. And sometimes we never ask. So imagine if you never asked your friend how they were feeling or you never asked your, you know, your, your loved one what was going on. So you wanna just tune in and ask yourself, which sounds kind of funny, but trust me, when you start doing it, it starts to feel really, really good. And the next one is incorporate clean skincare routine. This is somewhat connected to touch, but I really look forward to my skincare routine at the end of the day because it feels so good before you go in bed to really massage your face, which actually has a lot of marma points, which are energy centers in Ayurveda. Um, just self-massage of your face releases stress and tension, which can help prevent wrinkles and lines. It's very healing. Um, if you don't know, I have a feel-good, uh, non-toxic, high-performance skincare line, which I'm super psyched to share with you. It's got really great ingredients like uh, plant-based uh, uh, retinol alternative and a really stable form of vitamin C, which is brightening. So we've got a ton if you want to check it out. But in any case, you just want to get into a nice skincare routine, which is your time. It's me time. It's another massage time at the end of the day, and it feels really great. 
And lastly, I wanna remind you to stop comparing yourself, which is maybe the most difficult one of all, but something I think that we all want to work on. We are all on different paths. We are all different, unique, amazing, perfect souls. But when we start getting into the comparison game, whether it's about you know work achievements or looks or where we are in our life, we're always going to feel like crap <laughs> because everybody is going to feel like, oh, you know, why shouldn't I be this? Or why shouldn't I be here? And honestly, we don't know what's going on with someone on the inside. We don't know how they feel. We don't know their journey and we have our own journey. So the more you can stop comparing yourself, the better you're going to be, uh, which for me is uh, detoxing uh, social media accounts that don't feel good to me. It's spending less time on media in general, more time reading and being intentional, um, detoxing relationships. I make sure that I spend the most time with really uplifting, supportive friends versus ones that felt draining to me. And I just meditate all the time. I, I try to every day and that helps to keep me centered. So I hope these tips resonate with you. I want to wish you a happy self-love month. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Um, please incorporate some or all of these tips. Remember how special and unique and amazing you are. I send you lots of love. I'm so grateful for us being together in the community. And I look forward to connecting with you more.